In this video, we will learn about the item potency. And in the case of REST API, we'll see how item potency is important. Don't worry, after the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding about the item potency. So first, let's see what is item potency. Item potency means that applying an operation once or applying it multiple times has the same effect. As per the Wikipedia, here is the definition. Item potency is the property of certain operations in mathematics and computer science. Thereby, they can be applied multiple times without changing the result beyond the initial application. The concept of item potency arises in a number of places in abstract algebra and functional programming. Item potency with HTTP methods. As I said earlier, item potency is the property of being able to do something twice in such a way that the result will remain the same. In this table, you can see we listed out all the HTTP methods with the details about the method is item potent or not and is safe or not. Let's go through one by one. Get. Get is item potent and safe because no matter how many times you are executing the get request, always you will receive the same response. Post. Post is neither item potent nor safe because when you execute the post request, every time it will save the data. So if any of the HTTP method and after the execution of that method, if there is a change, when are we executing the method multiple times, then it is not item potent. And if there is a change even in the first time, then also it is not safe. So here, in the case of post method, every time it will return a different response. So it is not item potent. And like I said earlier, if there is a change in response even the first time, then it is not safe. Put. Put method is item potent because once the put method executed and if we tried multiple times, then it will return the same result. And it is not safe because a very first time when the put method execute, then it tries to update something. Delete. Delete method is item potent and it is not safe. Reason is same like the put method. Patch. Patch method is neither item potent nor safe because when patch method executes very first time it will update the value but from the second time onwards it tries to execute the patch then it expects the old object state and it already updated. When patch executes the first time so after the first time it will fail not like put. Put always return the same response without fail. So that's why the patch is not item potent and there is a change involved so it is not safe. Head option and trace these methods are item potent because these methods will not create any impact on response. Let's see some real time scenarios. There is a REST API sample project is available on my GitHub page. I will show you the demo of how get, post, put, and delete methods are item potent or not using that project. Let's open our GitHub page. See, here is the project. Let's download it as a GIF. Import this as a Maven project in Spring Source IDE. Here you can see I already imported the project. Let's run this project. Project started successfully. Open the readme md file. See here you can see the sample request format start from the get. Here in Postman, let's execute the get request. See here it is returning some response. Now let's execute this get request multiple times. See, no matter how many times you are executing this request, every time it is returning the same result. So, get request is item potent, and because of this method execution, it is not manipulating the response, so it is safe also. Now, let's try to test the post method. Body add JSON as a request. Here are the request samples. See here, headers also automatically added. Now, let's execute this request. See, it created one record. Let's execute multiple times. See, every time it is creating a new record in the database. So, post method is not item potent and not safe. Let's execute the get method and let's see record created or not. You can see here multiple records are coming. So, the post is neither item potent nor safe. Now, let's try to test the put method. Let's copy any of the book JSON data from this response. Change the method from post to put. In body, paste the copied request. Here, let's change the price. Now, let's execute this put method. See price value modified and you can see in the response. Let's execute this multiple times. See every time it is returning the same response. Even in get request response, you can see the price value changed for the second book object. So put method is item potent, but it is not safe. Now let's try to test the delete method. Let's delete the record for ID2. See book deleted successfully. Now let's execute this multiple times. See it is returning the response like book not found. So delete is item potent, but not safe. 
patch example I don't have but patch is neither idempotent nor safe reason I already explained earlier I hope you understood about the idempotency if yes then do the needful things like share subscribe and please give a nice comment thanks for watching